Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about how we can iterate through arrays using for loops and while loops. So to get started we're going to create a variable. I'm just going to create a list of numbers. So I'm just going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. End it with a semicolon. And now we know that we can access everything within this array by using indexes. So I could say list zero is going to give me one, list one is going to give me two. So what I can do instead of doing this by hand, because I always like to give the extreme example, what happens if this list is a thousand elements within it, right? Well, I can't really go in and say list index zero and then list index one. So for that, I could use a loop. So I'm just going to say four and we're going to initialize at zero. And this is because arrays start at index zero. So the first position in this array is zero. Next, we're going to give it a condition. So I'm going to say while I is less than list dot length. Now dot length is basically the number of elements within our list. So list dot length in this case will give us one, two, three, four, five. It will print out five. So you could think out I is less than five. So that's basically what that is. And then we increment I each time the loop is executed. Next, we're gonna use curly braces. We're going to say console dot log list and then we're going to give it the index of i. End it with a semicolon. Now the reason this will work is because this loop is going to execute five times. Now each time i has a different value. So the first time this executes, i has the value of zero. Second time, i has the value of one. So this is just going to keep looping through and it's going to print out each time. So I'm going to hit control S to save, control B, right click, review and explore, double click, F12, and you can see we get our array printed out. One, two, three, four, and five. So now let's head back to our editor. I'm going to hit control B. I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to comment it out. So I'm going to hit control forward slash to comment that out. And now let's do a while loop uh, interpretation of this for loop. So I'm just going to say var i is assigned the value of zero, right? Because arrays start at index zero. Next, I'm going to say while i is less than list dot length. So again, this is always going to change with whatever array you have. So let's say this array was a thousand, the list.length will give you a thousand because there's a thousand elements in that array. So I'm going to hit curly braces now and I'm going to say I plus plus and that with a semicolon and we're going to print this out onto the console. So I'll say console.log list and then index I. So I is going to start at zero. Then it's going to execute the code, print out list at index zero. Then it's going to increment, i is going to be one, print out list at index one, and etc. So I'm going to hit control S to save, head over to my browser, hit refresh, and you can see that we get the same exact result, whether or not we use a for loop or a while loop to iterate through our array.